Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Josh. I am the co-owner of Genesis Exotics. You can visit us on the web at genesisexotics.com. What's going on YouTube? This is Hector from uh, Gulf Coast Feeders here with uh, Josh from Genesis Exotics. We've got a couple new products here that we're really excited about that we're going to be collaborating with Josh with. Um, first off, let me show you guys our own little bio grubs. Check this out for all you micro food fans. Also got some bigger grubs here. Now let me start off by letting you guys know a little bit about these guys. Um, this is an exclusive market we have here. No one else has these. Um, these guys are extremely high in calcium. Um, they have a 1.5 to 1 calcium to phosphorus ratio. Um, they're also naturally high in lauric acid which is amazing. Let me tell you a little bit about lauric acid and what it does. Um, first off, let me tell you that half of the fat content of, that these guys carry is lauric acid. Lauric acid is a natural antibiotic, antimicrobial. Um, there's been clinical studies on it that uh, they can kill Mars, it can kill uh, HIV. Uh, but for us herpers, um, one of the great things about these guys, let me give an example, uh, bearded dragons, they have their own a strain of coccidia that live in their stomach. Well, lauric acid will actually kill coccidia. Um, and it'll help fight off any other protosa and uh, microbials that you don't want in there. Um, another awesome uh, fun fact about these guys, and um, you're not gonna be able to find this anywhere else, their diet is actually infused with probiotics as well. There's a lot of studies going on right now with um, some of the foods that we feed, our bearded dragons and iguanas and you name it, lizards and any insectivore um, with probiotics. Um, there are huge health benefits for reptiles um, and, and mammals and humans as well. Um, they also have a really good uh, protein content, about 20%. And um, these guys come in many different sizes. And I'll let Josh tell you a little bit about that. This is why this is what I really like about these guys. They we can keep them in a container like this with no food and they will live for two months maintaining the same gut loading capabilities that they have from half from day one they don't smell you can keep them in this container for 30 days after you after you receive them and they do well with different temperatures they can deal with low temperatures so as low as, as 40 degrees for an extended period of time so if you get them and you want to keep them in the fridge to keep to make them last longer you can do that or you can keep them at room temperature and they do perfectly fine I like the small varieties because they can be as, as small as the size of a, of a wingless melanogaster fruit fly why I like them is because your rat tomato, oh, excuse me, your rat tomato, ufagas, and some of your micro geckos uh, love these guys. They're a really, really good gut loader uh, for your herps, as well as a good get me up food for some of your smaller ne neonatal frogs, which I use them for almost all of my small thumbnails after they come out of the water for the first couple weeks, and I have noticed significant growth results from my frogs when using the Bible grubs. Awesome. One thing that uh, Josh uh, didn't mention is the medium that these guys come in actually has everything they need, so you don't need to worry about adding any supplements or food to them. Absolutely. So just want to toss that in there. Um, the next thing I want to move on to is silkworms. Now these guys, um, they they have some awesome uh, potential as well. Um, they have a great calcium uh, content. Sorry, there was a fruit fly there. Um, they have a one to one calcium to phosphorus ratio. Uh, they got a good protein content. And um, they have lots of uh, moisture and vitamins and minerals. They got a good uh, vitamin B complex. They're high in vitamin A, which is really important for some of you folks that breed reptiles. Vitamin A is essential for reproduction. Um, another cool thing about these guys, a little fun fact, um, there's something called serapeptase. Cerep not, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but you guys can Google that. Now, this is an enzyme that actually helps absorb and metabolize calcium. On top of that, there's been clinical studies that they're um, that that, uh, that enzyme actually breaks down clogged arteries. Um, it's also an, a natural anti-inflammatory, so that'll help out with uh, some of your herpes. Um, I know a lot of people do rescues and whatnot. Um, this is a great combination of feeders here that'll help some of your rescues and some of your sick beardies or um, other insectivores uh, get back on their feet again. Um, so I just want to throw that in there. 
And um, anything else you'd like to add about these guys? I mean, something I, something I love about these guys, they're not gross to touch. For one thing, they, they're, they're soft, they're soft body caterpillars, which makes them easy, easy meals for almost everything. Uh, they start off at about an eighth of an inch. That's what size I will ship you, an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. They can get upwards of two and a half inches if kept in the container, given the proper food. We do offer um, premium Gulf Coast feeders, silkworm chow. We offer it dry and wet, and that's for a, another video at another time. And again, like Hector said, these are one of the best things that you can feed your chameleons and some of your other agamids that like that need uh, that have a very high metabolism that need a good amount of healthy insects. And these guys are an extremely good uh, source of uh, calcium and everything. Thanks, Josh. Uh, another thing we're really excited about um, is hornworms. Um, these guys are awesome. They get a colossal size. They're really popular uh, for bearded dragons, iguanas, um, you name it. Some of your desert species that don't like to drink very much water sometimes, these guys are great. They have a good moisture content, good protein content, and they're a great filler. As you can see, uh, these guys have a beautiful green color um, and it elicits a very strong feeding response. So these guys are always really fun to feed your feeder, um, your, your reptiles, tons of fun. Um, some little fun facts with, for you guys about uh, with the uh, hornworms is um, they're actually um, a pest in, in nature. Um, they like to chew up tomato plants, uh, tobacco plants, anything in a nightshade family. Now, um, here in captivity we cultivate these guys so they're not eating um, their natural food source. Um, so you don't have to worry about some of those toxins that accumulate in their body from eating stuff in a nightshade family. Uh, these guys have a premium diet that um, we, we scientifically develop, kind of like KFC. It's on the sauce, right? So they're going to have a really, really awesome mixture of um, a little vitamin mixture, carotenoids, bee pollen, um, all kinds of goodies. So that's also something that is exclusive to us and you won't be able to find anywhere else. So. Um, just remember that, guys. Lots of fun. Yeah. Thanks, Josh. I mean, I'm digging these guys. I give these guys to my chameleon. I give them to my Borneo ear frogs. I give them my dumpies. I love watching my dumpies eat these stupid things. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, they get about four inches. Uh, I'll ship them to you between an eighth to a quarter of an inch size um, and, a, and a 24 ounce deli cup. You want to keep the deli cup upside down with the media on the top. So that way they climb up and eat, and eat the eat the uh, media. They do not smell either. Just like all of our insects, we're very happy to offer an on-time alive arrival guarantee through Ship Your Reptiles. Genesis Exotics is the only company that is able to offer such um, such a, a great guarantee on all of our perishable items. You know what our mission statement is. We like to offer the best care using research-driven practices and techniques techniques with our bioactive line. That's why I'm so happy that we're bringing Hector on board because he has brought us in some of the most nutritional and healthy insects available. If you're gonna have these animals, why not treat them like their family and give them the best? Again, my name is Josh. I'm the owner of Genesis Exotics. You can visit us on the web at genesisexotics.com and I'm Hector, guys. Um, you can find us on Facebook. Uh, you can go to Gulf Coast Feeders on Facebook. Um, we will be doing some follow-up videos and maybe some tutorials as well here with Josh. So uh, look, keep your eye on uh, on the YouTube channel for those. And always remember, guys, uh, variety is key. And um, you're not going to find variety with uh, such great nutrients like these guys. So until next time, guys, take care.